everyone how are you doing i hope you're all doing well my lovely students today i am going to review another subject page 124 subject air masses air masses if you could see the air around earth from outer space you would see large clumps of it forming moving over air the surface and slowly changing my students do you remember the definition of the air mass what are the air masses these huge bodies of air are called air masses an air mass had the some general properties as the land or water over which it forms two properties my pupils if i ask it question what are the two properties are used to describe air masses you can answer this question number 1 moisture number 2 temperature number 1 moisture number 2 temperature the answer these are answer of this question number 1 moisture content content and temperature are used to describe air masses moist air masses from over water but air masses that form over land and generally dry air masses land are dry but air masses water are moist and air masses that form near air the polar are called but air masses that form in the tropics or areas near the equator are warm air masses are in continuous movement but front what is a front a front is the place where two air masses of different temperature meet or another definition about front a front forms when two air masses meet very important this subject please try to pay attention this definition air mass a front and this this are questions another question do you remember my people as what are the two types of weather fronts the answer of this question is that number 1 sorry number 1 cold front and number 2 warm front number 1 cold front number 2 warm front very important please try to pay attention this question cold front and warm front do you remember this picture i talk about this picture my people do you remember we solved this question is number 1 what is the atmosphere the answer of this question page 120 atmosphere the layer of air that surrounds our planet is called the atmosphere number 2 how does the air pressure change with, with height the answer of this question page 121 the higher you go in the atmosphere the farther apart the air particles are so the air pressure is less and density is less number 3 what is the greenhouse effect what is a front the answer of this question page 123 greenhouse effect the atmosphere traps this heat much like the glass of a greenhouse this process is called the greenhouse effect but front 
is the place where two air masses of different temperature meet or a front four mass when two air masses meet. Number five, in which layer of the atmosphere does most weather occur? A troposphere, B stratosphere, C mesosphere, D thermosphere. The right choice, the right choice, A troposphere. My lovely students, please watch this video about air masses. Air masses. Objective. To learn the four types of air masses. An air mass is a huge body of air, so large that it often stretches for several thousand miles. Air masses generally have similar temperature and moisture properties throughout. The geographical location from which an air mass originates is its source. The types of air masses formed on Earth are determined by their source region. Air masses can have one of four qualities, continental, maritime, tropical, or polar. Continental air masses occur over large land masses and usually contain less moisture than other air masses, meaning they tend to be dry. Maritime air masses originate over a large body of water and are also known as oceanic air masses. Because they form over water, they are moist. Tropical air masses form in regions of lower latitudes and are usually warm. Polar air masses form over polar ice caps and are very cold. As these air masses move across Earth's surface, they will change, becoming modified according to the characteristics of the location beneath them. For example, an Arctic air mass with very cold and dry air moving across the ocean will become warm and moist, changing over to a moist maritime polar air mass. When this polar air mass moves south from Canada into the southern United States, it will acquire warmth from the ground below and become drier due to a lack of moisture. This air mass has now become a continental polar air mass. When air masses stay long over a region, they control the weather of those regions. And over continents like this, we find air masses that are relatively dry. Several major air masses affect our weather in the United States. Maritime tropical air masses, forming over the oceans near the equator, are warm with a great deal of moisture. During the summer, these air masses usually result in rain. But in the colder months, the precipitation could be snow. In the northern Pacific Ocean and in the North Atlantic, we sometimes find maritime polar air masses. During the summer, these air masses in the Pacific usually mean fog along the west coast. In the east, they often result in cooler temperatures. But in the winter, these polar masses from the oceans can produce heavy snow and sometimes even blizzards. To the south, hot, dry air to many states in the United States Southwest. Finally, continental polar air masses form over northern Canada, resulting in very cold winter temperatures in parts of the northern United States. My people, 